show chapters in the cold brew war between Duncan and Starbucks. Which is the better play? 4. 21 p.m. ET Mon. The 23rd of July 2018, 03. 46 A major fight is brewing between Duncan Brands and Starbucks. But only one is emerging victorious. Over the past two years, Duncan shares have rocketed around 50% higher, while Starbucks has fallen more than 10%. Matt Maley, equity strategist at Miller Tabak, says Duncan's massive rally could be circling the drain. It's up 25% just since April, so it's had this huge move. And it's getting overbought, Maley told CNBC's Trading Nation on Monday. It looks like its upside here at least on a technical basis is somewhat limited. Duncan Surge has pushed its relative strength index above the 70 threshold several times this year, a level that typically indicates overbought conditions. It currently trades 13% above its 200-day moving average. Starbucks on the other hand, it's been stuck in a sideways range since 2015, between $52 and $63, $63.50. It dropped below that range last month, explained Maley. If it can rally back above $52, that should give it a lot of momentum to shoot it back up into the middle of the range. Its shares broke below $52 just over a month ago. Before then, the stock had not traded beneath that level since November 2016. Seattle-based Starbucks looks to be cooling off after a hot run in its early days. According to Gina Sanchez, CEO of Chanico Global, they emerged really, really big, and they're actually starting to look like a very, very mature company, Sanchez told Trading Nation on Monday. The last two years have really been a sign of just far too much market penetration and now you're talking about having to close a series of unproductive stores. The coffee chain recently announced plans to close 150 underperforming locations in 2019. The company also saw two high-profile executive departures last month in CEO Howard Schultz and CFO Scott Ma. The fundamentals here still don't add up in the Starbucks play, added Sanchez. Duncan, even though it has run a long way, fundamentally still has the wind in its back. Duncan Brands is up 10% in the year to date, while Starbucks has fallen 10%. Vote vote to see results total votes. Not a scientific survey. Results may not total 100% due to rounding. Disclaimer.